saw them. UFO was flying through the trees. Whoa. <coughs> Shut up! It's the middle of the night. This is not funny, Sarah. Sarah, it's four o'clock. We were just visited by a UFO. Okay, okay, we believe you. Now can we go back? No, I'm not kidding. I'm deadly serious. Get out of this sleeping bag and come with me, okay? Are you sure you weren't dreaming? No, it was for real, okay? I was okay. I woke up, I heard this noise, I went outside and there was this UFO just hovering over the camp. Well, did you film it? Of course I filmed it. Can I take a look? <laughs> no, I think we can wait till the morning. I have been up nearly 24 hours, Sarah. Oh, that's so typical of you. I'm not the one sleepwalking. I wasn't sleepwalking, I have the evidence. Show it to someone who might be interested. You know, oh. you're all so selfish. We came here to witness UFOs and none of you are interested. Such a joke. Mr. Seven, sorry. Oh, oh, Wake up. Oh. I saw a UFO. Okay, um, come down. Just, just give me a minute. Yeah, UFO just buzzing around the camp. Oh, it was amazing. Okay, slow, slow down. What, 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 did, what did it look okay, like? Okay, well, it wasn't like a shape. It was more like a blur of lights, you know? And the noise. Yeah, a really high pitched whining noise and bells. Bells? Yeah, really, really high tone bells. Why didn't you take me? Well, I tried, but you wouldn't wake up. It's, it's all on there. What's going on? Um, Sarah's had an, uh, an encounter with the UFO. What is all the fuss? Oh, about? what sort of encounter? Well, it sounds like a CE1. Nocturnal lights? Really? Yeah. Well, what kind of lights? What exactly did you see? Okay, it's all on video. Oh, brilliant. This is amazing. Okay, calm, calm down, down calm down. Okay. Harry, you, you take this. So I'll get it. Um, shall I rewind to the top? Oh, it should already be there. What's happening? Uh, Sarah thinks she saw a UFO. No, I don't think. I know. Sorry, Sarah saw a UFO. Whoa! What did it look like? Can you all shut up? It's the middle of the night. Go back to sleep, bird brain. Melissa, Sarah saw some lights and she thinks it was some sort of UFO. Really? Yeah. Look, uh, here we go. Okay. Okay, it's, it's coming up. No, no, you see more. Oh, what was it? Oh no, I've taped over it. I can't believe it. How did that happen? It must have been when you grabbed the camera back oh, off me. Oh, nothing there. No surprise there then. Go back to bed, you moron. What's the matter? Did your little joke backfire? Look, maybe it was a trick of the night. I mean, Sean and Chrissy look pretty alien to me. I sometimes. don't think this is a joking matter. I'll see you guys in the morning. I believe you, Sarah. You would, wouldn't you? What's that supposed to mean? It's obvious you fancy it. Hey, you go well together. You're both freaks. Shut up! Oh, you know, what is the point? Everyone just thinks I'm mad. No, we don't. This place feels pretty strange to me. I'm pretty sure you saw something. I don't think you saw a thing. I'm just having a dream, that's all. I agree with Simon. Look, it's <laughs> quite clear that this is an active UFO area. Some of us are going to see things. <laughs> and some of us are going to make things up. Maybe she's suffering from sunstroke. Oh, <laughs> but that's enough. <laughs> All right, let's all just get some sleep. Why did you bother coming on this trip if you haven't got an open mind? Oh, I have got an open mind. This is something into pranks in the middle of the night. Oh, just leave it, Lucy. She's not worth it. <sighs> OK, I know I saw something, all right? Yeah, well, why didn't Lucy see it? She's like a Siamese twin. She goes everywhere with you. She did try to take me as it happens, but I was too tired to go. Oh, very convenient. What do you think, Shona? You're very quiet. I just wish I could have seen it, that's all. <laughs> you didn't, did you? What was all that about? Can we drop it? No way! Let it go, David. <sighs> Look, I like Sarah. I don't see anything wrong in that. She's a lovely girl, if you like that type. And you're just jealous because she doesn't fancy you. Oh, who rattled your cage? Look, could we all just get some sleep? Please. I didn't start this. Day one in Australia, and Sarah has seen some strange lights in the bush nearby. We think it might be a type of UFO. Some people in the group think she's made it up. Shh. I know she hasn't. I want to believe her. I mean, that is why we're here. Well, you don't think it's something she wanted to happen really badly? Meaning? Well, the bush has a strange effect on people. There are new sounds, new surroundings. It can all be a little bit confusing, Jerry. Sarah's probably the most pragmatic member of our group. She definitely saw something, that's for sure. Well, you know them better than I do. So do you think David fancies you, then? I have no idea. Or interest. OK, well, I'm here today for UFOs, and that's it. So, 
Okay, now that you've slept on it, what do you really think you saw last night? Nothing. You know, I must have been dreaming. What? <laughs> well, no one believes me, do they? Well, if it came last night, it might come again tonight. Only this time, we'll be ready. And I'm sure David will keep you company. <laughs> Shut up. I think you should lay off her. Excuse me? So what do we think? What? Was it a prank or not? It's not like her. It all misfired. Sarah and Lucy thought they'd have a laugh, but no one was in the mood. You two are pathetic. Well, you know, would you? At least I prepared myself for coming on this trip. What did you do? Read about Aussie Rules football? You're so smart. <laughs> Compared to you, yes. It's just because you fancy Sarah. Sarah, get lost. You're looking for a slap. No, if it makes you feel better, Simon, pee brain. Simon, back off, OK? Just let me just touch you, David. Come on, let's get some breakfast, then. Don't think Buffin likes you. Who cares? Morning, girls. Hi. Chrissy, I thought you were on provisions. Am I? Yes, we agreed on last night. Oh, fine. Well, that means you have to get up before everyone else and get things sorted out. Uh, great. I thought, thought Harry was helping. I don't mind. Oh, good one. I'll have bacon and eggs. Ah, uh, not for breakfast. Breakfast is a no-cook meal. We'll have cereals with fresh milk for a few days, and then it's on to powdered milk. Oh. Right. Well, that's not so bad then. OK, everybody, help yourselves. One bowl of cereal, one at a time. <laughs> By the way, um, where are we washing? <laughs> we don't. Pardon? What? Well, we can't wash in rivers and streams. It'll cause pollution. We can bring water here, though. <laughs> is that how far is it to the nearest water? Mm. Leon and David. You can head out and look for the water supply this morning. That's your task for today. Oh, great. That'll give us a chance to check out the area. Oh. I thought I was pathetic. Maybe I was a bit rash. Is that an apology? Yes. Sorry. What about me? You're going to help set up the monitoring equipment with Harry. Oh, no buff. Right, let's get this straight. We're all going to muck in here. We've got no time for arguing or wisecracks or worrying about who fancies who. This is a serious expedition, and I don't want anybody venturing off into the bush again on their own for safety reasons and because we need backup for sightings. Sarah tried to take me. It was my fault. All right, look, let's just forget about last night, right? Just try to remember the rules from now on, OK? Those rules include putting safety first. Do not expose your legs to spiders and insects. Do not leave your boots outside the tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also want all our waste bagged properly. And uh, we need to dig some toilet holes. Ah, Lucy and Sarah. <laughs> Good. Shoina, could you set up a medical area in my tent as well? Yep, sure. Great. OK, any questions? Good. Well, I'll go with Leon and David to help find the water supply. Has anyone got any bronzing oil? I'd really like to even up my arms today. Hi. I'm in charge of the medical kit, so I'm just trying to find it all and sort it out. I'm sure there was more stuff in here. So you've been a park ranger long? Ever since I was born, really. My dad was one. Mm. And where does he hang out? He died five years ago, heart attack. I'm sorry. No, don't be. He died on a trek just like you would have wanted. And your mother? Uh, she's been gone about ten years, car accident. Oh, shut up, shall I? No, 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 you're OK. So I suppose your next question is, am I married? Are you? I've been close a few times. No, what is that? <gasps> That's a Selenop spider. It's part of the Huntsman family. Ugly family. Poisonous? Yes. Let's just give it a wide berth. <laughs> I have a real problem with spiders. Well, you know what? If you don't touch them, they don't touch you. <gasps> Leon, don't move! There's a spider in your back! Turn around, turn around, turn around. Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Please, get it off! Get it off! Please! Leon! I'm joking! <laughs> Not funny, Boffin. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Chrissy, mm -hmm. do you want me to prepare the food for lunch? Oh, would you? I quite like it, really. I like that. Right, we we'll want to set up a couple of cameras about uh, 250 metres from the camp to the north and the south. We'll put the sound recording equipment east and west. We'll set them to roll about dusk. Great. 
Sorry. You're meant to be cooking. <laughs> no, no, Harry's just off it. Well, all this is very heavy stuff. Uh, don't be sexist, Mr. Simmons. Sir, so we'll be fine. Okay. So, what do you really think went on last night? I think she really wanted to see something. What do you mean, sort of wished it to happen? Well, it's like dreaming. Do you know when you have a dream and you wake up and you can't remember anything that happened? And then suddenly something happens to remind you of it. Well, like deja vu. Do you know what's really weird, though? See if you'd have seen something. I'd have been chuffed to bits. Oh, you believe in UFOs, then? I might. <gasps> Don't go telling everyone, all right? My lips are sealed. Hey, what'd you do if you met an alien? Just run a mile. Don't know what I'd do. Does this place give you the willies? Um, after last night, I bet. <laughs> Keep getting this funny feeling that we've been watched. What? Is that stupid or what? Well, you're not scared, are you? Not scared exactly. <laughs> I think we better stick closer together. Hey, wonder if Celtic won at the weekend. <laughs> Bound to. Well, here we are. Digging toilet holes. Not exactly what I had in mind for today. So what do you think of Melissa? I think she's great. Mm. I really feel confident with her around. Mm. I don't know if I can handle two weeks of Chrissy McAteer at all. Just don't wake her up after midnight and she won't freak out. <laughs> now, you don't think we're going to dig up anything nasty here, do you? No. Oh, not. <laughs> what is that? Oh, he's only a lizard. But he is so ugly. Now, come on. Don't talk about Simon like that. <laughs> How's it going, girls? Oh, so we found a lizard. He's beautiful, isn't he? Delightful. Um, they'll need to be a bit deeper than this. We want them to last more than a day, don't we? Yes, sir. Mm -mm. What this place do you say? I just want to sit here with you for a bit. I'm really tired. You are such a wuss, Chris. Please, Simon. We can put microphones in these trees, and uh, this place is quite high up, so we could put a tremor device as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, whatever, just do it. Good one, we'll bring that box across and help me set up these mics. Now, what did the briefing pack say? It said, microphones hanging down from branches to stop any rustling, mm -hmm and keep the wires off the ground so that we protect the wildlife. Listen, Simon, you do it. I've really got to find a place to work on my tan. Listen, it's just worse than being at school. Yeah, well, don't go too far. It's only taking a couple of minutes. Oh, slam dunk! to all aliens out there. If you're watching, we're ready to receive you. Over. Hey, record time or what? All set up and working. Side style. That's thrilling for you. Listen, can we not just get going now? Yeah, come on. Just one more place to find. Oh, Simon, you... Oh. oh, look at that. That looks pretty clean to me. Can we drink it? No, we better not. We should filter it back at the camp. Can I dive in on boiling? <laughs> now you can have a little wade. <gasps> Look at that. I didn't expect to find one of those here. It's falling apart. Mm. With a bit of work, we could get this thing afloat. My thought entirely. <sighs> we need that canoe here. Mm. Some tourists who couldn't be bothered to pull it out. Look at that. It's over 10 years old. Whoa, you'd never believe it. 
Looks like he could have been a UFO spotter. Why would he leave his canoe here? Maybe there was a drown or something. Who knows? Maybe he was abducted. It's a possibility, but it's also a possibility that he just walked out or... Or what? Nothing. You think he might be dead? Well, it's something we have to consider, but he also just probably dumped the thing and hitched a ride home. On a UFO? <gasps> we can use this for fishing. It needs repairing. But we can do that back at camp. You mean we have to carry it back? Oh, come on, it doesn't look that heavy. Then we can do the water later. Think of all the fresh fish that we'll catch. We really need Hardy here to help. Come on, you guys look like a couple of strong hunks to me. As soon as you put it like that. Great, get that in. <laughs> Simon, what is that? That is so weird. <laughs> it looks like um, looks like a, a tombstone. It's so freaky. Uh, well, I mean, you think someone's actually buried there? I don't know, but that's what it looks like. Uh, oh, I'm so freaked out. Wait, there's no marking. No. Do you see any? No, I think it's Aboriginal. Come on, we better get the others. That is seriously strange. Wait, okay, wait. I'll just leave it there. Come on. Uh. Right, come on, up here, up here. So you add the cashew nuts, give it a good shake about. Lots of nuts, definitely lots of nuts. And remember, always take some for yourself. <laughs> Brilliant, what's next? The sauce, a la mushroom. Mm, looks delicious. Thank you very much. So Mr Simmons, what got you interested in UFOs? I've always been fascinated by them. Why don't they just show themselves? <laughs> you know, the aliens. Well, some people believe they have. Yeah, but they're always written off as crackpots. Well, what about Roswell, 1954? Everyone says that was a fake, though, didn't they? Is that where they found some dead aliens? Yeah, in America. It's very well documented. Yeah, but it was covered up at the time, wasn't it? Well, that's always going to happen. No, I was convinced that I saw a UFO once. Really? Where? When I was a teacher in Perth. I was walking home late, and I heard this engine noise above my head. At first, I thought it was a low-flying helicopter, but it had this sort of low drone, like the engine was misfiring. So I looked up, and this cigar-shaped object flew over my head at speed. It was about 30 metres long, no lights, just glistening in the moonlight. So did you report it? No. I'm a teacher. Didn't want the head to think it was some kind of nutter. So you uh, started the UFO club instead? <laughs> yeah, you got it. So were you worried? No, actually, I was sort of hoping I'd get grabbed and whisked off to some other planet where teachers are treated with more respect. No such place, sir. Right, everyone, grubs up. Oh, smells great. Oh, you will never guess what we have just seen. This said better not be a white Oh, it's not. This is weird, sort of tombstone. Tombstone? Yeah, it's like a big block, kind of square mound, but without any markings. And I filmed it. Well done. Well, first, let's take it. It's an excellent offering by Harry, and then we'll go investigate. What is that? It's a need a repair, though. It's a bit ancient, isn't it? Ah, well, we think it belonged to some intrepid explorer who was whisked away by aliens or oh, attacked by natives. It was abandoned, that's all. Ten years ago. Here, read this. Oh, yeah. UFO sighting. Looks like you did come to the right place. You've no idea who this belonged to. Well, we didn't have any reports of missing persons, but I could check with Arnie. Good idea. Okay. Oh, Nurse Shona. Mm -hmm. David gashed his leg. Can you fix that? Yeah. You better come with me. Uh, Melissa? Yeah? We saw something really weird. What was it? It was a grave. Really? Yeah, we Seriously. think it might have been an Aboriginal site or something. Who could be where that guy's buried? Oh. Well, as soon as we've all eaten, I thought we'd go take a look. Yeah. OK, that's fine I'm with me. I'll just check on David. Hey, how we doing? Fine, yeah. I've cleaned up a bit and I'm just about to put the dressing on. We seem to be missing some medical supplies. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happened to them. What do you mean you're not sure? Well, I checked them at your headquarters and... And? And, well, they must have dropped out or something. Dropped out? Does it matter? I'm fine. Well, you're lucky it's only a scratch. Look, I'm really sorry. Have we got a problem? Shana's lost some of the medical supplies. I've got some school medical supplies. Shana, just... Go and eat while I finish up here. Look, I'm really sorry. Just... Thank you. 
Yeah, what's up? Well, someone who made the supplies. Oh, seriously, yeah. Never mind. David's all right, though, isn't he? He's fine. Melissa's just a bit angry, that's all. She's just a bit wrecked for a kind of canoe. Don't you poor thing. I'm sure you didn't mean to lose any of the stuff. Mm. I mean, you had such a lot to carry and everything. Exactly. Mm. Do you want some of mine? Yeah, Now, we're only some 300 metres from base camp and we're investigating a possible grave site. Sai thinks it might even be Aboriginal. We can see it from here. It's about five feet high, a bit under two metres. It truly is an extraordinary sight. It looks like a rectangle ochre in colour and very smooth. Oh, that is incredible. It does look like a tombstone or a headstone. Be careful with this vegetation, guys. Do you think it's a grave? Amazing, eh? Uh, well, I hate to disappoint everyone, but this is actually a magnetic termite mound. What? what? Sorry. But it's so symmetrical. Don't touch it. This no. mound has millions of ants, and <laughs> they build this to protect themselves from the heat of the midday sun. <laughs> they have still got the right idea. <laughs> so no grave, then? No. And then no aliens? No, not unless they're eaten by termites. And nothing to do with Aborigines? <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, do any of you guys have a drink? No. Go away, you me. So do you have to film every single day? Yes. A record for back home. A documentary type thing. Thank you. The O'Donnell's made quite a splash in Scotland. So you could all end up being famous. You should do one. A video diary. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. You'd be great. Actually, they'd be very interested in what you thought, particularly about how we're managing. Yeah, it's really easy. Yeah, and no one gets to see the tape. You just kind of keep them with you. Right. So nobody gets upset until we get back to Scotland. <laughs> Don't make me blush because you find me the most attractive oh, bloke here. Oh, darling, that's so terribly difficult when Harry's around. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Oh, OK, all right, it could be fun. All right, I'll do it. Great. I'll get your tips. OK, thank you. All right, well, we should start thinking about collecting some water bottles. I will take you and you and girls. Can we clean up the camp, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. Oh. And Leon, do not put your hand ah, in it. Oh, snake bit me! Hey. Get me the snake, Annie Venom! snake, was it? A red belly, I can't be sure. It's poisonous. Yes. Could he die? It's not 